Hello everybody, my name is Matthew Games, and welcome back to Let's Play The Crooked Man. And, uh, <clears throat> in this, oh, fuck. And in this episode, we, uh, I'm trying to remember what I did in the last one, because, um, I think I said don't cry in the last one. But just to be safe, I'm going to do this one because I'm not really sure about Please Don't Cry. <coughs> What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him. I'm sorry. Better get that out. <coughs> Is that such a bad thing? David? Question mark. Dot with dots. <clears throat> I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to be get married. You, you too? <coughs> I was dejected. Even now, I still... It still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I... How, how I was such a coward. I'm a... Miserable excuse for a man. Hey, don't doubt yourself that much. <coughs> Especially in romance. Well, that you can doubt yourself in. <coughs> I'm kidding. No man should doubt themselves about not being romantic or being a terrible excuse for a man. <clears throat> I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married. And it made me hate myself more and more. Oh wow, that's that sucks. <clears throat> but looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's wonderful. A wonderful thing. <clears throat> I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. Ah. Dot dot dot. David dot dot dot. <clears throat> this is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. It's a shame it, it to be thr It's a shame to be it. It's. Ah! It's be a shame to throw it away. Why can't I talk in most of these Let's Plays anymore? <laughs> Take good care of it, okay? <clears throat> I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know you'll always support... I'll always support you. <coughs> Thank you, David. I'll try harder. I'll try a little harder, sorry. I hope things go well for you too. <clears throat> hey David, did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so... Thought I locked it. Thought I, I didn't lock it. A key? Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Maybe this bra this brass key. Haha, -ha, nah, of course not. Ah. Ah. Sis yes, that's the that's the one. Where did you find it? A what? Really? Er I picked it up around there. Here. A key from my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenant tenants involved with the box. What does that mean? Don't know. I'm in the darkest I'm as much as in the dark as you are. <coughs> I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. <coughs> oh, there's a piece of paper. That's Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the note pages. 
which means he I don't I don't get it but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here <coughs> oh yeah it's starting to come back to me now um yeah uh, what really confused the thing that confused me the most in the last episode was um was why all this was happening because I think sissy is a big part of this because I think her ex-boyfriend happens to be the guy that David's looking for but who am I to know I'm just a youtuber who basically goes through these goes through a bunch of horror games and stupid crazy games that and occasionally coming soon in the future rage games to come entertain you guys my uh, my adoring uh, and lovable fans and viewers out there who I would basically play any game for them just all I have to do is let me know down in the comments below and I'll work my butt off to try and get it <coughs> seems that way it has an address on it Are you going there, David? Yeah. He... You want... He wasn't here. So I'll check there next. Okay. Be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well... Ah. Hello! Ooh. I'm really thankful, David. <coughs> Let's see each other again sometime. That that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel like feel a little more relaxed myself. Littering sketch sketch of dreams. Is this where he is? I probably said the first thing wrong though, but let's go check it out. I've come this far. Until I see him, I'll go anywhere. <coughs> let's see, how much time has it been? Oh, not that, uh, not that long. Yeah. Let's see, scene one, hotel. Okay, so. Yeah, uh, a if you're wondering why there is already a save file right there, I, a buddy of mine was playing the game while I was not um, <clears throat> doing Let's Plays, and he saved, he decided to continue where I left off, and he saved in that file. And God, that is loud. <clears throat> Although it probably won't be loud for you guys after I put it through editing and all that. Man, this place is far. That took almost all day. So this is the place. Ah, oh, shit! I forgot that one line. No one around. But though, I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's take a look. Hmm. Oh, shiny, shiny. <coughs> a nameplate. It rep read. Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Let's see, got the infirmary key. Okay, why do I need an infirmary key? Is the real question. Men's bathroom. I guess I don't need to go in there. Let's see, a memo about necessary. Repairs. <clears throat> Deep views in the wall behind the eastern bookshelf in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Okay. Oh, what about this book here? Okay, I'm not going to read all these names, so I'll let you read them. Okay, that's probably long enough. Oh. Nothing inside, nothing inside. What about this locker over here? Okay. 
<coughs> oh, I guess this was the infirmary. Whoa! Found a pli found a plier key in one of the drawers. Okay, I was I only came over here to see if uh hit. Never mind. <coughs> So, what type of key did I find? Uh. Oh, that, oops, I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, does it go up to the upstairs? Fuck you! Was there someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. <clears throat> Whole box wouldn't would be too heavy to take. I could probably take a few take two tools from it. I'll probably take the screwdriver and the hammer. I'll come back if I need anything else. Okay. Anything in these dresses over here? Lots of books, lots of books. Hmm. Really locked. Locked. Oh! Well, alright then. Uh, oof. Sorry about that. <clears throat> what is this? I guess it's wire art or something. Not sure what it's supposed to do to be, though. <clears throat> Apparently it was made by a Ray Twain, one of the lecturers. <clears throat> okay, what about that? Why can't I just take my hammer to this thing? <clears throat> What's oh, a book? Looks like there's it's so, like some sort of diary. Indeed, law to needs a necess nermatic nermic rep replication responsification after. I'm sorry if I was stuttered there. I'm still remember I'm dyslexic. After all basic things such as on or off, zero or one, <clears throat> can re can re represent much more complex numbers. Using the small elements to produce new things it, it, it is a way of thinking I hold in, in high esteem. Esem, le, 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 le. Estimate, esteem, there you go. Though perhaps it's more uh, the art artistic no notion than captive, 
me more than the the mansion the the mathematics. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Let's see. I'm guessing these are supposed to be some type of code. I'm guessing. Okay, so, um, I'm guessing, oh, what, a shut up over there. Sorry about that, that was my phone telling me I was about to die. <clears throat> um, I'll have to come back to this one. Uh, okay, so, something involving, uh, I think involving that book. Another thing that needs a password. I lost the, the note with my security box password, thus... Ah, are you kidding me? I couldn't get into the computer room. And the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I, I thought I had it when I was writing for a semester. <coughs> Samer... I don't even know. In the re reference room. Maybe I left it in a book. A, in a book somewhere. I should go look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does. when Then I would forget. It, but th that's risky. But if you just w use whatever. Then you... You have my problem. Okay, so reference room. Where the heck would that be? <clears throat> Wish this place would say what what room this is. I'm not even going to read that diary because I'm running low on time. Okay, I'll probably uh, cut uh, some of this cello. It's some sort of notebook. Uh, I'm not even going to read this, but I will let you guys read it yourself. Oh, I didn't even notice that. John Kent's room key. Well, goody, goody gumdrops. Not what I'm looking for. on the net. Maybe he's on the floor. This room. No. Oh, reference room. This is the room that I need to get into. the infirmary. What looks like one guy's room? Oh, please tell me it's not down the basement. Really? Looking for a John.
Oh man, I wish there was a sprint me sprint mechanic in this game. Believe me, I'm I'm trying my best. Oh, how long was that? Oh wait, man, I was in this room. Get off of me. Okay, so why do I need this guy's room key? supposed to do since I'm running out of time here all right so I'm sorry that I'll have I have to leave you guys like this but um, basically my camera is almost about to die and I'm at a complete loss so if you guys have any information to tell me about this game about uh, what the hell I'm supposed to do please let me know down in the comments below and Oh jeez, this is really confusing. But seriously, that one thing that's most confusing out of them all is how does Sissy play a role with the guy? Although I have a feeling uh, Sissy is the girl ex-girlfriend of the guy we're searching for. So, um, yeah. So basically, that's all I have to say about that. But um, but anyway. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, please share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter, and leave a like and subscribe to Dave. And also, like always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!